Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be showing you how to find free ebooks. So if you didn't know, I am notoriously known for finding a lot of free ebooks online. I have a bunch of free ebook hauls that I do every single month. I love finding free ebooks. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to show you how to find free ebooks today because I do get this comment quite frequently on those videos. So let me walk you through it. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about four methods today. Okay. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be uh, splitting my screen here or showing you my screen on my laptop here um, to show you how to find these things. Okay. Um, so first one we're going to talk about is free booksy. I don't know where I'm going to introduce to this, but it's been years and I've still been using this. And this is one of the main ways I find free eBooks on uh, Kindle. So this will be the screen that pops up for you. It'll look like this. Okay. And so this is what you're going to do. Um, you're going to click this button right here. It's called email sign up. So basically what this is, it, it is a email that will be sent to you every single day filled with free ebooks to your tastes, which I love. And I use this every single day. I check my email every day to check this out. So at the top right here, you're going to put your email address, okay, where you want your books to be sent to. It asks you what devices you'll be reading on. So I would click probably just Kindle. Um, I do have a Kobo, so maybe I would do Kobo. <laughs> and then these are all the genres when you scroll down. So for example, what I did was I clicked all the romances that I like. So I like steamy, I like sweet, I like paranormal, historical, and this one down here with the E, obviously. Um, romantic suspense isn't really my thing, so I didn't click that one. Um, and then I occasionally will get into the fantasy and paranormal. Um, and then I also like uh, historical fiction, black literature, LGBTQ, and young adult and children because I'm going to be a teacher. So I click those sometimes too. Um, and then I don't really do the nonfiction because I'm not really that big of a fan. So anyway, so after you click sign up down here at the bottom and your email and everything is filled out, every single day there will be an email sent to you listing all of the free ebooks that meet these categories. I can like show you what they look like really fast. Um, like what today's looked like. Let's see what today's looked like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna split my screen because I don't feel like it right now. But when you like scroll down, there's gonna just be lists of books in their categories too. So like this one is a steamy contemporary romance and it has the title and the description down here as well. And it also has a links to where you can download it. I normally just type in the book title on Amazon and just download for free there. But then when like when you keep scrolling, there's more um, genres. So if I stop right here, here's my fantasy paranormal. Now this doesn't work for every email. For example, if you haven't checked your email for a couple of days and you go and check it and look at the free book C email that was sent to you seven days ago, those books may not be free anymore because sometimes authors just have a free deal for one day. So I check mine every single day. Okay, I recommend that because sometimes the free books that were available seven days ago are not free anymore. Okay, so we have free, free, free booksy down. Now the other main method that I use to find free ebooks that I get to like keep because the free booksy ones are free books that you get to keep. And the next method that I use is just using Amazon. Okay, I sometimes in my free time, I'm a big nerd. Okay, I will literally just type in the search bar in Amazon, free Kindle romance books. Okay. <laughs> and I will spend just hours scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and be aware that not all of these books that are listed are completely free. Like some of them are like sometimes Amazon is just weird that they don't want to list only free books, but like, here's a free one that you could download. I already downloaded that one <laughs> and there's a free one. Um, but a, a trick that I learned is, um, at the bottom where it says, uh, like go to the next page. It only goes up to page seven. This is a lie. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go up the top and then I normally click the four star and up category because I don't want to read mediocre romances, obviously. So I click the four star and up button. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it shows you that there's 400 pages of this. So. This is what I do in my spare time sometimes. I literally just scroll. Also, if they're on Kindle Unlimited, um, it'll like tell you um, below if it's uh, free or not right here. 
um because it'll say zero dollars but it's on kindle unlimited so in order to make sure that it's actually free if you don't have kindle unlimited um you need to look below it to this dollar sign so like for example let's show you like here this one says zero dollars free kindle unlimited but it's actually six dollars seven dollars okay and so this is actually what i do i literally just scroll and scroll and go i just spend free time like i pop in an audiobook or i'm watching a show or booktube and i just scroll on free kindle books and i even will like specify it too i will do free alien romance books and i'll do the same thing for and up and i'll just <laughs> scroll <laughs> It's just what I do in my free time. Ooh, I've never seen that one before. <laughs> and like, I'll do this like periodically. I'll do it every couple weeks because like I don't do it every day, obviously, because the same books will be listed. And so like in a couple weeks, new books will be listed. And so I'll do it every couple weeks. <laughs> Again, some people may not have that much spare time as me. Um, I do it a lot of the times like sitting in bed watching a show or a movie. So if you're ever like me and you can't sit still for a movie, I can't just sit and watch a movie. My brain works too fast and too much. Just sit and watch a movie. I have to always be busy with something else too. My hands have to be busy doing something. Okay, and then the two other methods that I have are kind of free, but you don't get to keep the book. But they're still free. You can still use them, okay? So the first one obviously is Kindle Unlimited. What I did is I just googled kindle unlimited and then it is digital subscription service sign up down here so this is kindle unlimited you can sign up for it you basically pay a monthly fee of around ten dollars a month to get unlimited access to romance books or any books in general they're not just romance books um that are in their kindle unlimited catalog a lot of them are romance books and that's why a lot of us use them all us romance readers use kindle unlimited um but you can check out 20 books at a time and so you're basically just spending $10 a month to get unlimited access to so many books, which is awesome. And when you, I'll go back to my free page. See, like these are Kindle Unlimited available. So technically it's $0 because you're not spending any money because you've already spent $10 a month. So um, if you ever want to make sure um, books that you're looking for are Kindle Unlimited, you, let me just do alien romance here. Search it. I'll search it right here. And then what you can do is you can do Kindle Unlimited Eligible. And these are all books that are alien romances that are on Kindle Unlimited. Ooh, what is that book? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Ooh, this is Regine Abel's new book. <gasps> okay, I'm getting distracted. I need to go look at this when I'm done filming. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love Kindle Unlimited. So these are not technically free books, but you get a lot of book options, okay? And then another free book option that I use that you don't get to keep the book, unfortunately, is Libby. So Libby is a uh, service that is linked to your library. And I love it. It's very similar, I think, to Overdrive. I've never used Overdrive. So what you do is you have your library card, right? And a library. And um, you can also sign up for an e-library card too. I didn't know that. I don't remember how to do that because I did that literally five years ago. Um, but I'm still linked to my library from my hometown, which is Houston, and they have so many options. You go to Libby. I typed in Libby on Google, okay? And so then this is what you do. You go, it asks you, do you have a library card? And you click yes. So if you have a library card, what you can do is you can search for your specific library, or if you don't remember your library and you just wanna get in the general vicinity, you can click this. Let's do search for a library. We're just gonna type in Houston. So we're just gonna click on a random one. Let's do Houston Public Library. And so then this will pop up with your uh, library. So this one was the Houston Public Library. Okay, so then you're just gonna click uh, sign in with my card. So this is what my Libby looks like. Um, and so you can search for just added popular random available now, blah, blah, blah. And so they have audiobooks available. This is how you get, yeah, this is the majority of my audiobook listening is through Libby because they're just free audiobooks you can listen to um, that you can just check out all the time. So this is my shelf currently. I have a lot of audiobooks checked out, um, but like this one right here, The Beast of Blackmore, this is a ebook that I downloaded and you can click this read with Kindle button and it'll be delivered to your Kindle device, which is so stinking cool. So yeah, you can download eBooks through Libby and listen to audiobooks. So I really recommend Libby. So yeah, those are the main ways that I 
uh, find free ebooks. Um, please let me know down below if you have any methods for finding free ebooks. <laughs> um, my main method is obviously free booksy. I adore it. I also want to mention that there are accounts on Instagram that share with you free ebooks. So personally, when I ever, whenever I find free ebooks that I like, I will post on my stories, hey, this book is free today. Uh, so other people will know. Um, but there are probably Instagram accounts that like literally tell you what romance books are free for that day. Um, so I would check that out if you're interested. If you've made it this far into the video, leave me any book related emoji. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, let me know down below if it was. Uh, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye y'all.